All right, how's it going? Let's do some uh, ah, surf style lead guitar. And uh, some people know I play in a band called Surf Zombies. And to tell you the truth, I just kind of make it up. I don't, I, I'm not that concerned about following the exact tradition and all that stuff. But uh, I am interested a little bit in uh, some things I've heard recently that are kind of bringing me back to maybe where I should have been all along. All right, this is something like... I'm going to try that again. That style is what I kind of want to work on. Okay, let's talk about a couple things. You don't have to have a lot of reverb. I'm going straight Mustang into a Fender amp. Uh, you don't have to have a gob of reverb, okay? So, but a Fender guitar does get you kind of in the in the um, in the right direction. And a Fender amp is good. If you can get a real spring reverb going, just put a little bit on. You don't have to have too much reverb. Don't worry about it. Um, so this this lick is kind of like from Surfing USA. Something along those lines. Let's take it down to A. So we know A is based at the fifth fret, and we're kind of working around this chord. The A bar chord. That's a major chord. Okay, keep that shape in mind because we're going to use maybe the first four skinny strings. Cool, very simple. So that's in tablature language, that's a five, five, six, seven. Or in notes, it's an A, E, C sharp, A. And it looks just like an F chord. F, G, A. F, G, A. So a lot of the things we're going to do here are based on the bar chord. And when we say bar chord, you could think of a, a hundred different ones. But the number one bar chord is that. The A, E, A, C sharp, E, A. And to me, that looks like an E here, an E shape. See the E shape? So I'm going to call it an E shape bar chord. Another, not to go too crazy here, but another way to classify that is it's a root six. The root is on the sixth string. Root. If you know your root, um, you've got a massive advantage over being a little vague about it and a little unsure. So, without going too crazy, <laughs> Let's go to the two skinny strings of that A bar chord, which is your 5-5, five five, which is a direct link to, say, Chuck Berry and, and whoever he borrowed it from. So you want to get that down, for sure. That's your index finger laying flat at the fifth fret on two skinny strings. Another fun thing, I'm doing downstrokes. Downstrokes give you a certain energy. And I am sliding on one and two and three and four and one. And slide on one. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. So just whip it right up there from four to five. Right hand is sitting on this corner of the bridge and I'm holding the pick correctly. Don't get your middle finger in there. You don't need your ring finger in there. Let these out. That helps you relax. This corner of your hand is going to sit on the top of the bridge. Right here on that corner. Your hand sits right there. In my opinion. Ah. Then you're not moving your arm or swinging your elbow or pushing out. Which I see all the time. I don't like it. So you can go one and two and three and four and 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 or one and 
two and three and four and. You have to be pretty precise with that. If it's sloppy and you're going, that's the opposite. Or, not good. It's got to be, for this style, I want exactly. So work on that. Sit on the couch and watch TV and play that for about four hours tonight. You'll have it forever. All right. Now, let's get into the third string. That's going to be middle finger sixth fret on this A chord. I'm thinking A. That's an A, E, C sharp. Another great shape. You can move it around like. Okay, that's just the same shape. So that's as easy as it's really ever going to get. You know. It's not going to get any easier. And it's not going to sound that, that, much, that much better. So get that shape down. That's your 5-5-6. Five, five, it's just part of the chord. All right. You're doing good. Practice that. Now add your ring finger to the 4th string 7th fret. That's an A. Basically, we got a, a root, 3rd, 5th, root. One, three, five, one. That's a major chord. Crucial. You can use any two strings of that little shape, three strings, or four, or one. Take your pick. Anything's going to sound good there. Notice I'm palm muting with a little bit. All right. Now that one lick I started with... Okay, movable. I'm gonna start on the A, the C sharp, then go to D. Okay, there's a little bit of trickery going on here. I can go one note at a time. All I'm really doing is bringing my ring finger from the fourth string to the third string, seventh fret. My pick is hitting different strings. It's almost like, oh, when the saints, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in. Can you pick that out by ear? Or maybe you need to see it. Get that going. Now, I'm going to modify it. Okay, I'm going to add ring and pinky to the second and third string, seventh fret. That's important. Keeping this shape and adding these two, then taking them off. All down strokes. Let's do it in B flat. Key of B. Key of C. Key of C sharp. Key of D. Key of D sharp. Key of E. Get 
gets pretty cramped up there. Uh, that's F, F sharp, G. I'm about maxed out at G. Got, you got more space down here. G sharp. Back to A. There's that pentatonic. Good old pentatonic. You know that. Now, the tricky thing is... You know, you can play all this, but can you play it with timing and precision and confidence? That's the big question. Let's say you're going 205 beats a minute. Woo! Take it down to like 177. Improvising there, just kind of going off on a tangent. You're gonna sound different from me, and I'm gonna sound different from everybody else. That's what's cool about this. But it, we can share the same shapes and the same ideas, but the way you time it and feel it and phrase it, it's gonna be all you, and that's cool. So if you, you know, the best thing you can do is get your metronome out, start it down a lot. Um, Maybe 50, one. Maybe like <laughs> real slow. playing them as quarter notes which is kind of goofy but just be creative with it don't get too uptight have some fun play play for a good focused session take a break walk around go goof off and come back and do it again the surfing style is way cool and like I say I've, I've put out I've got my got six albums in the can and uh, some singles and comp compilations coming out all surf style. I don't really think about it too much, but I probably should. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to get back to the roots, the bare basic minimum roots of this style. And uh, doing this video is my way of practicing and demonstrating it and thinking about it and sharing the idea. All right, so don't worry about the reverb level so much. Worry more about timing, tuning, notes, phrasing, precision. And then, you know, if you play well, then add a little reverb. But first, the notes, okay? All right. Have fun. <laughs>